You know, folks, uh, President Trump is still off on his trip through Asia. He arrived today in China, although he kept calling it Thailand because it's where they make his ties. <laughs> he spent a lot of time with his old buddy, Chinese President Xi Jinping. They've been friends ever since Xi visited Mar-a-Lago, and Trump asked him how China got Mexico to pay for their wall. And seeing those two together, I, I kind of understand why they've bonded. They're both leaders of superpowers, which can be isolating. I mean, sometimes I feel that way even as a late-night host, which is why it's nice to have someone who understands what you're going through, a, a friend, a buddy, the kind of person who can finish your... Pudding. Your pudding. He can finish your pudding. <laughs> John Stewart, everybody. John. I didn't know you were doing a show. I don't know if I am. All right. John, I got to ask. Please. He's here all the time. Sit down. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, 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 John Stewart, obviously. John, what are you doing on my desk? What do you mean? I, I, I'm always on. I watch a show from there every night. It's unbelievable. It's a front row seat to the number one ankles in late night. Steven's ankles. The smart choice. <laughs> what do we owe the pleasure of your visit, John? Can I get you another pudding? Because <laughs> that's some incredible object work you're doing there. That's what I was saying. Yeah. I was going to do pantomime work uh -huh, right? this, uh -huh. this thing, but I thought, mm -hmm. eh, I might as well yeah. have the real pudding. So why are you here, John? You know, Stephen, as you know, I'll be hosting Night at Too Many Stars to support Next for Autism on November 18th on HBO. Oh, that's it's true. It's going to be live. It's going to be incredible. And, uh, it's going to be incredible. It's going to be unbelievable. In fact, it's live, it's on HBO, which means I will be having uh, that night sex with a robot. And uh, <laughs> looking at you, James Marsden. Oh, well, that's a good choice. That's Thanks. a good choice. Thanks. Yeah. So it's a Westworld reference. Obviously, we don't have premium cable audience here tonight. <laughs> but Night of Too Many Stars, John? Did I get the title of that right? Night of Too Many Stars. Can there really be too many stars? Well, it, it's unbelievable. You can't even believe it. Uh, Chris Rock, Adam Sandler, Olivia Munn, Ellie Kemper, John Oliver, Stephen Colbert. Stephen We're Colbert! Gonna... What? How did you wait? Yeah. Stephen Colbert. I, I hear very good things about him. His ankles alone. Unbelievable. What, what, the what smartest will, in late night. What will all those people be doing? Well, it's interesting. We're going to be raising money for a great cause to support Next for Autism. Every dollar. Everyone? Every dollar. Every nickel. Hope we get more than that. No. <laughs> it's going to be raised to help somebody with autism and their family. And so far, uh, since we've been starting this fundraising 12 years ago with Robert and Michelle Smigel, who, who, who set this all up, they're tremendous. $24 million. $24 million. Wow. That is... $24 million. Wow. You know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to take this home, and yeah. I'm going to see if a raccoon will get his head stuck in this. <laughs> that might go viral, John. <laughs> Wow, $24 million. That family must be really rich now. It actually, we're spreading it out to different families. Oh, that's smart. Family. that's smart. That's smart. Yeah. That's smart. It goes to many families across America. Celebrities are donating incredible experiences to help raise even more money. Uh, for instance, Stephen Colbert is offering an incredible opportunity here at The Late Show. What? Yes, I am. And I can't wait to find out what it is I'm offering. But, sure. before, but before you tell people yeah. uh, what you're offering, I'm feeling mm -hmm. a little parched, and I, I think I might get a little sip of water here. Please, please tell me what I'm offering. One lucky winner is going to spend an entire episode of The Late Show <laughs> under your desk. Wow. What? Wow. What? Wow. Wow! I'm, I cannot believe your mouth holds that much water. That's... <laughs> Phenomenal. Yeah, it's an incredible <laughs> opportunity, John. Wow. You just I've got the hottest ankles in late nights. You do. Yeah. And you just put out a fire on my cheek. Good. Wow. And there's more. What? The winner will stay down here under your desk for the entire monologue and get to ask a question to that night's guest and pop up and do a punchline while Steven is at his desk. Not my precious punchline. Yes! <laughs> well, John, I happen to know another detail of this amazing prize. Do you? Yes, John. Yes. And this is the detail. 
for, for one whole segment of the show. The winner will be joined under the desk by John Stewart. Yep, you're under the desk, John. That's what it says up here. Does this sound amazing to you? How? I'll tell you what. How does your suit get to bead the water in that way? That's tremendous. They scotch guard me before you come on the show, John. <laughs> well, this is going to be an amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Oh, can't I? Go to omaze.com <laughs> slash Colbert to support Next for Autism and enter to win the chance to spend an ep. There's no more water down there. Don't look for it. <laughs> to spend an episode of The Late Show under my desk. John, you better make room down there. Okay. <laughs> John Stewart, everybody, watch Night of Too Many Stars Saturday. Forget it. Oh, yeah. okay. November 8th.